before this wave of of all these different types of apples you can buy, you would go into a store and you'd buy a green, you'd buy a yellow, or you'd buy a red. And they were mostly mealy, like you never got any like snappy, crisp, sweet apples, right? And then, uh, well, blah, blah, all this stuff happened. The University of Minnesota uh, created the Honeycrisp apple, which is like what... Planet Money was saying that the Honeycrisp apple is actually the highest selling product in almost any market, period. Of all the products that they have in a market, the Honeycrisp sells the most volume. Hmm. Wow. Like units, right? Uh, which is amazing to think about. But I think that we we don't think about that with... Co- I mean, specialty people do. Um and, and sorry to say that, but like when you go to uh, Starbucks, they're still caught on like 100% Arabica. Well, at this point, it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. duh. Right. So you're just you're just selling me a red apple. Mm-hmm. I know it's red. Like, I want a honey crisp or I want a pink lady. So I I mention this because if Peru, your farming partners, growing tipica had exactly the same process as the Kenyans and exactly the same terroir with a Tipica as opposed to an SL28, it still would not taste the same at all, right? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah so varietal will definitely drastically change the flavor profile of the coffee and to differing degrees. Differing degrees depending on the specific microclimate because some climates and some soils prefer different varietals so maybe in one soil bourbon will be better and another soil tipica might be better and it also depends on the on the process so some coffees are better processed specific ways so in general i I agree with what you're saying with the varietals and especially with the apples being different at the same time i think we've we've narrowed by a wide margin our genetic diversity of apples so now you go into the store and there's like eight apple varietals? I don't know exactly how many. Whereas in the past, uh, you could go to a farm and each farm has specifically distinct varietals. So an interesting thing with apples is you harvest an apple and they have seeds in it. You plant the seeds and almost 100% of the time you're going to arrive at a new, distinct, different varietal by planting the seed. Which is why all these varietals of honey crisp apples and Fuji, 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 Macintosh, those are basically all grafted. So you want the same exact genetic content to be producing your next apple tree. Mm-hmm. Coffee, on the other hand, is self-pollinating. So if you have one Tipica coffee plant, and I take the fruit of it, and there's usually two seeds in the fruit, and I plant that 95 to 98% of the time, I'm going to get a Tipica coffee tree. That's a genetic genetic match of the parent tree so it's a little bit that's it's in in that respect all the genetic diversity lies in east africa and specifically in ethiopia mm-hmm. and so that's why all these heirloom old varietals are in ethiopia that tend to have this super interesting and different flavor notes and profiles to them whereas in peru and in throughout latin america There was kind of one tree, one genetic, really small genetic family that kind of populated all of the coffee in Latin America. So the the tipica, tipica, yeah. And since then, like it does mutate and it develops different varietals throughout the years. And you can even see if you plant kind of a field of just catimor or just tipica or just bourbon you'll have most of the trees looking exactly the same. And then there'll be a few that are a little bit taller, a little bit shorter, a little bit wider, a little bit different color of the fruit, different color leaves. And so those are kind of these weird mutations or cross-pollinations that happen due to insects or winds that create new varietals. Mm. So even Bourbon and Tipica and and Pacas or Maragohipe, all these random coffee varietals, they all still came from... Tipica and kind of either mutated or cross-pollinated with different varietals. 